Hey, what's going on everybody? A new tutorial this week and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn a power bank into a long-lasting power source for your cosplays and this can power your LEDs, your Arduinos, your servos, all light electronics you might have in your cosplay. So let's go! So, power banks. We probably all have one by now. Uh, you can get them at just about every street corner. And, uh, well, they're a handy little battery pack that can charge your phone all the way again. However, it can also be used with just a little bit of a mod to power uh, your LEDs, like I said, your servos, uh, anything that I normally use my 9 volts for, I <laughs> nowadays power with just this one power bank and I'll show you what I did on the inside all right so power banks they come in a single cell form come in a double cell form and then you have the really big ones those high lasting ones they are uh, sometimes you have even like five or six cells and by cell I mean this I'll just open this one up there we go this is the 18650 cell these are the most common um, power bank cells out there because they're cheap to make and that's hence the reasonable pricing on every store-bought uh, power bank out there these are rated for 3.7 volts now that's kind of low and that's where this little guy comes in this is a step-up board and it almost you can call it it converts the 3.7 volt to a 5 volt output now using one of these or one of these uh, for to power up your cosplay uh, can go in two different ways we either modify a USB cable so that you can just plug it in right there and then the other end will have two wires which will lead to a quick snap snap-on snap-off connector and then you can wire that to your LEDs however some of these boards have a built-in protection that it needs to draw a certain amount of power for it to, to keep supplying the device with power uh, if it's not enough these will shut off not all of them has have this built-in safety uh, feature I don't think this one has because it's only a single cell however this one does and I'm gonna focus on what I did here because I think the method with a separate cable uh, is more reliable in this way there we go this is the inside see it's the one cell that's the two cells now these cells are linked parallel together to the step-up board and not in series uh, a quick rundown is if you connect a battery in series then you would take the plus side of one battery and link it to the minus side the other battery thus increasing the voltage so it would double the amount of the 3.7 volts this however does not work for this setup and that's why it's in parallel that way it stays the same amount of voltage only it can supply that 3.7 voltage for a double amount of time I'll show you some diagrams right here if you're still confused parallel is same voltage double the lasting power series is um, double the voltage same lasting hours now you can see that the original positive wire and the original negative wire both lead up to the step-up board and they lead to that connection right there there's a solder point and the positive leads to that connection point right there so what I did is grab one of these quick snap connectors and it's really easy because these can just be pushed in together lock into place and if you want to release them just press this side and boom it's out so that's the mod I did on this power bank I'll put this back together but to show you from start to finish, just put that aside. 
I've bought the same power bank right here and I'll show you what I did from start to finish so you can follow along with me. All right, so I took off that mean old blister package. Contents is the same power bank, but this is a white version. Instructions, who needs that? Get away with that. And a standard USB cable to charge up your phone. So that's nice, they add this one. So let's open this one up. Oh, you can see it's uh, charged halfway. So <laughs> we can use this right away after we're finished with it. So open it up. I'm gonna grab a flathead and just pry these sides open. Well, here you go. So, same thing, two cells, step up board, and the two connections for the positive and the negative. Grab one of these uh, quick snap uh, connectors. This is optional, you don't have to do this. You can just grab the uh, positive and the negative uh, wires from uh, the thing you want powered in your cosplay and connect that directly to that. But I prefer these quick snaps method because this battery is rechargeable and it's just easier to quick snap your battery off and place it on your desk and charge it then instead of having half your cosplay on your desk because your battery is attached and recharging it through there. So it's just a matter of efficiency. All right, so here's a close up just before we're gonna solder. You can see it right here. That's the point the negative wire uh, attaches to, to the step up board. And right here near the clip that I'm uh, holding it because it's uh, floating in the air right now. Uh, here you can see the connection, the positive wire is gonna go through. So we're just gonna match that up. The red wire goes on soldering on this point and the black wire we're gonna solder on that point. That way we draw current with the quick snap directly from the batteries and not through the step up board. Now, maybe you'll think, or the naysayers will think, it's like, ah, but then you only get 3.7. That is not true. You do actually get the five volts through the uh, step up board. This whole thing mainly is so that you can charge it uh, on your phone. You can charge it through your phone charger again. And this one comes with a uh, indicator LED and this is the uh, flashlight actually, it's pretty bright. Now here are the two wires. I pre-soldered them already. Always pre-solder the end of your wires. This makes soldering a hell of a lot easier. I'm just gonna heat that up. And there we go. That's all the soldering we had to do. We'll release it again. Now we can put it back together in the original housing. Be sure to align all the ports to all the entry holes because you still need to use that to, you can still use this side to actually still charge your phone and not uh, just not use the quick snap and through the other side you can still charge the power bank using your phone charger in a normal outlet so that's why it's important to align these properly again now uh, before we put on the other cap these two wires need a way to make their way out of the box so we'll grab a little cutter tool and we'll just pinch in a little A little cut in here so that these can go through there and then you grab let's see it should be like this grab that I think it needs to be a little bit bigger no nope, it clicked there we go and there we have it ladies and gentlemen we have modded our power bank to use a quick snap to directly power the thing you want powered. And as you can see, I'm using a standard charger there and it's charging like normal. 
Just took it off the charger. This is the other side of the quick snap and that is hooked up to the smoke machine. And if I connect the two, you can see it has no problem powering the device. So that's more than plentiful. I can test out on the Headhunter Caitlin gun that I built for my girlfriend. I'll show you that one. So as you can see, it is all working and just off that one single power bank located right there. Cover that one up. This uh, lasted uh, well over just one convention on just one single charge uh, where a normal battery would run out pretty quickly running all of these LEDs. It's like double sided on this, this in the clip, it's, it's everywhere. It's running the Arduino also for the movement of three heavy servos. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty powerful battery. It's, it's cheap. Um, you can recharge it where you cannot recharge, you know, one of these and you can even buy two if you know uh, you're going to be at a certain event for a long time and just switch this power bank with your other power bank, which has the quick snap as well. So that's how you turn a power bank into a long lasting, reliable power source, which will beat out AA batteries or a nine volt battery by, by a mile. Uh, I use uh, these things, these power banks to power up all of my cosplays and my girlfriend's cosplays use these as well. Now that I made a new one just for this video, I have one spare, so that's always nice. As you saw, it can even handle something a little bit more tough than a air pump and a uh, vape pen for the smoke machine, but it has no problem doing that. So I hope you found this useful again. That's it for this week. Tune in again next week for a new, new tutorial. It's probably gonna be electronics related again. And if you wanna get notified, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss a single thing. And I'll see you next week. Look at how happy she is, she got a power bank. Like, ooh, I got a power bank. Yeah, jumping in the air, gonna catch all the Pokemons on my phone because my phone won't die. Woo! Like soldering. I forgot my mic to wear it on my fucking.